In this lesson, we're gonna cover how to create virtual meetings. Now, this is something that you might wanna do if you want to have a live session with your students where you're perhaps holding a review session or a study session or perhaps your weekly office hours. Now, there are various options that you can use in terms of creating virtual meetings. You can actually have a Zoom meeting embedded into your Moodle course, or if your institution is not using Zoom but using another software, you could use that as well. In this particular lesson, we're going to cover two examples. Um, the example that we're covering is going to be using a activity resource, which is called Big Blue Button, which is very much like Zoom, but it pretty much predates Zoom in terms of its integration with Moodle. So it is one of the apps that typically is available free of charge with Moodle. So we're going to go ahead and select Big Blue Button, and we will schedule a virtual meeting. The virtual meeting will allow you to chat with your students live using camera or text or also be able to share your screen with them as well. So we've gone ahead and clicked on the big blue button option and then you're gonna be able to select whether or not you wanna have a room or basically a meeting room that has recordings or not. And we're just gonna do room only. We're not gonna be recording anything in this particular example and we will call this review session. We're gonna click on show more and add a bit of a description right over here. And I would like to have this displayed on the course description page and I'd like to make this bold. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go through some of these other settings as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click on room settings just so that I can walk you through it. In the event that you basically want to have your students waiting before they're actually allowed to enter into the room, you can go ahead and put in a message over here and click on wait for a moderator. And if you plan on recording the session, you wanna go ahead and check this box right over here. That way the students get the notification that the session is being recorded. In this particular example, I won't be recording the session, so therefore I'm going to leave this unchecked. However, if you are doing a review session, it may be a good idea to record the session for students who are unable to attend the review session in person. Lock settings. All right, so these settings allow you to basically disable or enable the microphones or the webcams for the attendees. In this particular case, let's say that you want to disable microphones or the webcams, you can do that right there. If not, you could just leave it available. You could also hide the user list if you want this to be an anonymous type of a session. So let's pretend that you are holding a webinar as opposed to a review session and basically you're gonna be presenting information but you don't really want people to be talking or sharing their videos or creating any kind of distractions. So you can disable their webcams, their microphone, the private chat, or you could leave that on if you want to. Um, basically just disable all of the stuff, including the uh, user list. All right, so in terms of the, uh, we're not gonna do very much with this. We're gonna go to the session timing. And if this is a timed session, you can go ahead and basically select the date and time and enable this, or you could just leave this unchecked, which means that students can enter into this review session at any point. Um, which um, is actually not a bad idea if you want to do sort of like a meeting room or a chat space for students to be able to get together on their own um, where it's not moderated. So they can just uh, log into that session if they want to. Um, in this particular session, I'm just going to leave this unchecked right now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, save and return to course. All right. And here we go. There is the review session right there. And it's got the description right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this right now. Let me go to turn off settings or turn off editing. And we're going to click on this link just to see what it looks like. All right. So the students are going to see basically this message. This room is ready. You can join the session now and they would need to click on this. And it would take them into the uh, virtual meeting. So we're gonna go ahead and enable microphone. And then they will need to allow their microphone to be accessed by the browser. And here we go. So um, the users will be listed on the left side right over here. Right now you can see me listed right there. And if they wanna chat with the instructor or with each other, they can go ahead and type in a public message right there.
And the controls are basically right here at the bottom where there is this blue button with the big plus sign where it says actions when you scroll over it. If you click on it, it gives you the options to manage presentation, start a poll, share an external video, and also select random users. So this is basically where you've got some basic controls for this session. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna exit out of this and we are going to end the session. And we are gonna look at another way of creating a virtual meeting within Moodle. All right, so some institutions will actually have the option of embedding Zoom or Google Meet or even Teams into their Moodle. Um, in my particular installation, I've currently got blue, big blue button installed, but I don't have the other ones available. So, but here's where you would find it. So instead of big blue button, you're gonna find one that says Zoom or it'll have Google Meet. Uh, Google Meet is actually kind of compatible with some Moodle installations from within the system. Um, it is not available and compatible with all versions of Moodle, which is why sometimes you'll find institutions don't have it as a plugin and an app that shows up in this list. But it does not mean that you cannot use it. So I'm going to show you how you can actually use a Google Meet uh, meeting embedded into your Moodle course. So what we're going to do over here is we are going to, first of all, exit out of here and we are going to go to Google Meet. So I'm right here logged into my Google Meet account. And what you want to do is basically just get a meeting code or a meeting a URL. So we're going to go to new meeting link and then you want to uh, select the option that says create a meeting for later. And that's going to give you a URL right there. You want to click on that. So that's going to copy that to your clipboard. We're going to scroll back to our course and let's say that we want to place it right over here. We're going to click on add an activity or resource. And you can go ahead and use this as a URL. And we will call this office hour. And the external URL will be pasted right there. So we're gonna right click and then paste, or you can do control V to paste. All right, in terms of appearance, I think we're gonna leave everything as is. All right, so what we're gonna do here is perhaps leave some instructions that say uh, weekly office hour on Mondays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That way students know that this is basically a two hour session every week. All right, we will go ahead and scroll and save and return to the course. And there we go. So now we've got the office hour link over here. And if students basically click on that link, it'll take them to that link right there, which should open up the Google Meet session right there. Now I've got a lens cap on my camera, which is why I'm not appearing on the screen. But if my lens cap was removed, you will actually see me right there. And the students, all they would have to do is basically click on join and that would take them into the meeting session. And they would basically be able to utilize all of the tools available to them in Google Meet. So the controls are right here at the bottom. Chat is right over here. And as an instructor, you've got the option of sharing your screen if you want to. So you can click on that icon to present or to mute yourself or the camera that you are currently using. And this is how you can create virtual meetings within Moodle through Big Blue Button or Google Meet.